Okay, everybody, the waiting is over. Menards has finally come out with their own line of affordable O-gauge switches. I've got them both here, and we're gonna check them out right now on Eric's Trains. All right, so this is really big news. I'm super excited about it. So as many of you know, Menards has had their own affordable O-Gauge track system on the market for some years now. It's based on the original Lionel O-Gauge tubular track system, and it's compatible with that. And it's really the most affordable three-rail O-Gauge track system on the market right now. But up until now, they've never had any switches to go with that track system. And as we all know, switches can be very expensive, especially if you're having to buy fast track switches and stuff like that. Like that but now they've got these two o gauge switches they're both 072 there's a left hand and right hand switch and each of these goes for right at 60 dollars before rebates i think i got mine for about 54 dollars after the rebates which is incredibly affordable for an o gauge switch especially one that is remote control like these are there's nowhere that you can get a brand new o gauge remote control switch for 60 dollars i think a fast track switch is around 110 dollars or so if you can get it at a good price so yeah these are very very affordable in comparison. Now you may be wondering why did they do 072 and not 042 or 031? Well, on their site they explain they did 072 so that with these two switches, they can pretty much accommodate any locomotive you might want to run through them. So whether it's a small little 031 locomotive or a big giant thing like a big boy, it should be able to run through these 072 switches. So that was a smart move on their part. Now, if you go on the Menards website right now, I think they're sold out, at least they were when I last checked. And that's because they only made a small number of these. And I think that's because they're doing these in the same way they did their locomotives. They're kind of doing a beta test run. And I think they're hoping that people will give them feedback as to the pros and cons of these switches, you know, what works right and what doesn't. But I can tell you from my experience so far, they work really well. And again, for 60 bucks, I mean, you just can't beat it. Now, before we get going with the unboxing, I do want to answer the question that I'm sure a lot of people have. And that is, are these things compatible with other track systems? And the answer is, yeah, they're compatible with Lionel Classic Tubular Track, of course, but you can also use them with Lionel's Fast Track system. Menards does make a transition piece that you can buy that'll go from Fast Track to Tubular Track. And really, you know, most track manufacturers make transition pieces, so you could probably make this work with any track system, be it Fast Track or Atlas or Gargraves or anything else, as long as you have the proper conversion piece. And by the way, you should also be able to run any make of O-Gauge train on this kind of track, be it Lionel or MTH or Atlas or Menards or Weaver or Third Rail or anything else. So anyway, with those questions out of the way, let's get busy with the unboxing. All right, so here's the box that the switches arrived in, fresh from Menards. So let's get this open. And for today's unboxing from my knife collection, we'll be using this guy. This is the Victorinox Ranger Swiss Army knife. This is a five layer Swiss Army knife. It's got the two knives, the can opener, the bottle opener, the scissors, the saw, the metal file, the corkscrew, the package hook, the chisel, the screwdriver, the leather punch, the tweezers, and the toothpick. Pretty cool. So, All right, Menards Gold Line Collection. So we have the 072 right hand, model number 2759301. And then we've got the 072 left hand switch, model number 2759302. Free six foot extension, pre-lit red and green lanterns on the switch housing. Control manually or use the remote. It's time to update your old switches. Replace your old rusty switches with brand new switches from Menards. Wow. Kind of look like they're inspired by the old Lionel O-Gauge switches. In fact, I'm sure that's what the inspiration is. Contents, O-Gauge switch with lantern, controller with three foot lead wire, six foot extension wire. Wow, I can't believe this. Menards finally making switches. Look at that. 
So we should be able to throw it manually. Yep. Kind of works like the old Lino ones did. Pretty solidly built, I must say. You know, it's a plastic housing for the most part. That's metal, plastic. So a combination of plastic and metal, but it's got a nice weight to it. I mean, it doesn't feel flimsy. Looks great. And then we've got the remote, which is <laughs> sort of shaped like a steam locomotive. <laughs> Very cute. And there's the other end that plugs into the switch. So I'm guessing this goes right here. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Got to be careful. Don't want to bend those little leads. There we go. And then, of course, they've got the six foot extension to give you a bit more range with the remote control. Very cool. Now, obviously, right out of the box, you're not going to be able to use command control to throw these, although you could perhaps wire this into the MTH AIU or the appropriate Lionel accessory to give you control over the switches. I don't use any of the Lionel control systems for switches. I use the MTH AIU, but you could definitely wire this into the AIU, I'm sure. And we've got some track pins here. Nice. Here's the left hand one. Exactly the same, just goes off to the left instead of going off to the right. Again, looks pretty well built. You know, Menards is not exactly known for their superb build quality, uh, but these look fine. Yeah, so out of the box, I'm pretty impressed. Of course, the proof is in the pudding. We'll have to see how these work. So we're gonna take these upstairs. I can't use these on my layout, but we'll take them upstairs and set up some Menards track on the floor and put these things to work. All right, we're here in the living room and this is the little miniature test layout that I made on the floor using 100% Menards track, although you could mix in Lionel classic tubular track if you wanted to. Now, as I said, the switches are 072, but all of the Menards track that I have is 042. I don't have any of the Menards 072 curves right now, but I was able to make it work. It looks a little funny, but it does work. So here's our switch all hooked up and ready to go. And I gotta say, hooking this thing up with tubular track, man, it took me right back to my childhood. It was a trip down memory lane to be sure because I instantly remembered all of the fun as well as frustration of working with tubular track. You know, it's cool, it's nostalgic, but it can be a little frustrating because you have to get the pins to fit tightly and you know, make sure everything's nice and snug so you get good electrical contacts. I mean, there's a reason that Lionel invented fast track. It is infinitely superior to tubular track, both in ease of setup and reliability. But, you know, fast track and other premium track systems are very expensive. And if you're on a budget, you might not be able to afford them, whereas this is much more affordable, but there is a trade-off. It is a little bit more of a pain to set up and you might have some reliability issues if some of the pins loosen up and stuff like that. But everything's working well right now. You can see we've got power and this little indicator on the switch housing for the manual throw. We've got red for diverging, green for straight. Pretty straightforward. Kind of like the old school Lionel switches. And then we've got our remote control. So if it's already thrown in the direction when you hit the button, nothing will happen because there's leaf switches inside that prevent anything from happening if it's already thrown in that direction. So you can see nothing's happening because this is the button for straight and it's already thrown straight. But if I go diverging, there we go. Straight, diverging. Pretty quick, works well. What's not to like? Now, one cool thing about these is that I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a little cut here in the outer rail on both diverging and straight. And that is for the anti-derail feature because Let's say you've got the switch thrown straight, but then you've got a car or a train coming on the diverging route. Well, when it hits this, you don't want it to derail. So that's what this is for. 
when the metal wheels and metal axles cross over this gap, it bridges between these outer rails and allows it to close the circuit and will throw the switch in that direction. So watch this. No derail. Pretty cool. And if I put the car on the straight and now it's thrown diverging, when I cross over, it goes straight. So no matter which direction you're coming from, that anti-derail feature will make sure the switch throws in your direction and you won't have a nasty derailment. That's very cool. And from my experience with it so far, it works perfectly. All right, now let's have a little fun. This is the train we're gonna run on our little floor layout here to give these switches a proper testing. And just to show you that you can use anything you want, this is a mixture of different brands. I've got a Lionel Lion Chief Diesel. There's a Menards Hopper behind that. There's an MTH Aquarium car. And then we've got a Lionel Boxcar and a Lionel Caboose. <laughs> So there you have it, the brand new 072 switches from Menards. I gotta say, I am super impressed, especially since this is a first release and I'm pretty sure it's a beta release and they're gonna improve the product as time goes on as they get feedback from customers. And yeah, I'm sure some people will have issues with these early switches. It's gonna happen and just make sure you report those issues to Menards so that they can address them in future releases. As I said, right now they are sold out on the Menards site. I expect they will do another run at some time in the near future. So make sure you grab some if you want them. And again, give Menards feedback on any issues you encounter. But yeah, for 60 bucks, I can't complain. These things did everything they were supposed to do. And yeah, in case you're wondering, $60 for an 072 switch is ultra affordable. You're not gonna find a brand new remote control 072 switch for less money anywhere. It's just not gonna happen. But that's the great thing about Menards. They have really cornered the ultra affordable segment of this hobby, and that has made the hobby more accessible to everybody, and I salute them for that. Menards deserves a lot of kudos. They have really revolutionized and reinvigorated the hobby over the last five or 10 years. Anyway, if you'd like to support this channel, I would greatly appreciate it. That can be done through Patreon at patreon.com slash ericstrains. Patreon supporters get access to all sorts of perks and benefits, and you can read about those benefits on my Patreon page. I'd like to put a big thank you out there to all of my current Patreon supporters. Your support means the world, not only to me, but to the future of this channel. And I'd like to put an extra super big thank you out there to my premium tier Patreon supporters. You'll see their names at the end of this video. And in case you haven't noticed, I've also started doing some shout outs in my videos to my top tier Patreon supporters. So look out for those. Finally, if you'd like to get some Eric's Trains merchandise, check out the Eric's Trains online store. You can buy t-shirts and mugs and magnets and stickers 
stickers and stuff like that. It's at ericstrains.com slash store. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Eric Siegel. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. To discuss this model and any other O-Gage trains, check out the O-Gage Railroading online forum at ogrforum.ogagerr.com.